related, U.S. general technically the Korean War is not over. In a separate 500-page report, the Japanese Defense Ministry said Pyongyang's development of ballistic missiles and its nuclear program are becoming increasingly real and imminent problems for the Asia-Pacific region including Japan, as well as the rest of the world. It is conceivable, a Japanese analyst said, that North Korea's nuclear weapons program has already considerably advanced and it is possible that North Korea has already achieved the miniaturization of nuclear weapons into warheads. U.S. Air Force General Paul J. Salva recently advocated for the U.S. to expand its own arsenal of mini, or low yield, nukes. DIA has made statements in the past that have contradicted stated U.S. goals or positions. In May, for instance, DIA Director General Vincent Stewart told the Senate Kurdish independence is on a trajectory that would make a formal assertion of Kurdish independence in Iraq a matter of when, not if. A referendum is slated to take place at the end of September where Kurds in northern Iraq will vote on whether to form a fully independent state a move that would shake Baghdad, Tehran, and Ankara, and apparently some of Stewart's colleagues in Washington. On July 13, U.S. Special Envoy Brett McGurk told reporters at the State Department that having a referendum on such a fast timeline, particularly in disputed areas, would be, we think, significantly destabilizing. Since 2004, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, ODNI, has been responsible for relaying critical intelligence assessments to the U.S. President. After the September 2001 attacks, CIA took some blame for the failure to predict and stop the attack, and lost its role as Director of Central Intelligence, at the time the primary liaison between the President and the intelligence community. Thus, Reports prepared by IDNI are technically where one would find statements like the IC assesses. The IC includes everyone from the U.S. Coast Guard Intelligence, CIA, NSA, and more obscure departments like National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. The presence of the phrase the IC assesses may indicate that this is not actually a DR report, but a brief compiled across the U.S. intelligence community, that is, an IDNI report. The Post was only given access to sections of the report, so it is unclear whether alternative or dissenting viewpoints were included and what they might be. Furthermore, the Post states the information is from a confidential assessment. The Post says the assessment's broad conclusions were verified by two U.S. officials familiar with the document, but admits the DIA and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence declined to comment. Stanford's Siegfried Hackers has suggested North Korea's nuclear stockpile stands around 25 weapons and that Pyongyang can build six to seven more per year. The Post cited the Bulletin of the Atomic Sciences Nuclear Notebook, the Federation of American Scientists and the DIA to support their statement that experts estimate, North Korea has, 30 to 60 nuclear warheads. The Trump administration has vowed to go after leakers of documents such as these. In comments that sparked concerns for future whistleblowers and the freedom of the U.S. press, U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions declared last week, for our friends in the intelligence community, the Justice Department is open for business. And I have a warning for would-be leakers, don't he do it. Dot. See also, Kim Jong-un joins fight against the New World Order.